Hello, my friends. It is Tina again, coming to you with another video this week. So the topic I thought I would talk about is sharing my journey on THM. Why did I pick THM? What have I done before? And why I feel personally that THM is a lifestyle for me, I guess. I, that's the only way I can say it is it's my lifestyle now. So let me give you a little background on me. So over the years, I've done many different diet plans and um, I kind of honestly thought I'd be dieting my whole life. I was up and down in weight. I would hold at a pretty decent weight for quite a while. Then I'd go up again. And so I've kind of been frustrated with um, the idea that my whole life would be spent just thinking about food, food I couldn't have, food I wanted to have, all that kind of stuff. So, um, and I did also watch my mom go through a, a lifelong struggle with um, food and weight and and so I was always kind of very aware of it and knew that I wanted something different in my life, but I didn't know how to find it. So I'll kind of give you a background. So over the years I did, um, well, Weight Watchers, of course, I've done that a couple of times. I have done the Richard Simmons. I don't know if anybody remembers they had this like gadget that you would get and you would flip the little door windows shut when you would achieve a goal like if you had vegetables you'd close a little window that you ate your vegetables or water or exercise or protein grain I mean it was yeah it was just it was really I liked it because I liked the interaction of it and it worked it did the job but um it was temporary um let me think what else well I've of course done just you know regular count calorie counting um you know calorie restriction um lots of exercise um as far as other, uh, oh, I did the Mediterranean diet, the South Beach diet. Um, boy, when I start to think about it, it's a lot. Um, and then, of course, I saw my mom do a lot of others. My mom went through and had, um, she did the pineapple diet, if anybody remembers that. <laughs> um, she did Atkins, of course. She did, um, a, oh, I can't remember the name of it, but she did it at a doctor's office where it was, very calorie restricted plan and you drink shakes for several months until you hit your goal weight and then you slowly reintroduced food. And so, um, and then my mom actually ended up having a lap band too. She had lap band surgery. So I have kind of watched her go through the gamut. I myself have played through many, many different plans. And, um, and I'll tell you the story of when I came to THM. So I had done Weight Watchers for a year and I made a sweet friend who might be watching this video. And if so, you know who you are. You are my Weight Watcher buddy. And now she she and I had done some THM together and a few other things. But we met there and became, she's a dear friend. So anyways, um, I had been on Weight Watchers a year. And my goal at that time was to lose 13 pounds. Because 13 pounds was the bare minimum I needed to lose in order to get lifetime on, t on Weight Watchers and stop paying for the meetings. So in one year's time, I lost the weight. And I'll tell you why it took me so long. Now I recognize it is all those free foods like fruits and bananas and such, I abused horribly because I didn't really think it was wrong not to. And uh, and I never really thought about what it was doing to my blood sugar or my body, anything like that. I just knew I could eat them. And so I did a lot. I mean, I abused it. I really abused it. And um so anyways, so I lost the 13 pounds. I was so excited. I was going to reach lifetime and I, I had to keep it off for six weeks and then I would get to go for free to the meetings and they shut my meeting down. <laughs> I was just like, oh my word. <laughs> okay, so lost my meeting, sadly. And uh, so I quit going. It was too far from my house for the next meeting and I was still homeschooling my kids at the time and, and I just knew that wasn't going to work. And so I quit going. And in three months time, I regained the three, the 13 pounds that took me a year to take off. So to say I was disappointed is an understatement. I was hugely frustrated. And, um, and about that time, my girlfriends and my homeschool community at the time were all talking about this great book, Pearl and Serene, and you know, this trim healthy mama thing. And I just, I was such a skeptic. I mean, from a lifetime of watching diet plans and my mom's struggle, my own struggle, um, friends struggle. I just thought, you know, here's another gimmick. And, but everybody was just so hyped up and excited about this thing. So I listened to them. I thought, okay, you know what? What the heck? Everybody's doing it. I'll be on board with them. 
And I happened to have a gift certificate or a gift card to Amazon at the time. And it was enough money to cover the book, which by the way, I felt $30 was outrageously expensive for that book. But now I look back and I think you spent, I think $13 a week to go to Weight Watchers and take forever to lose it. So I don't know where my math thinking was, but it was clearly not activated at that moment because I could have bought a wardrobe with the money I spent on, <laughs> on just Weight Watchers alone to lose at that slow pace. So I bought the book, I went on eBay and I was like, oh look, I can resell the book when I know that this doesn't work afterwards. I mean, I was a huge skeptic and I'm sharing this because there might be others out there that are like me, that was just like, this is just another fad, another big deal. It's like South Beach or, you know, Atkins or whatever. It's gonna be another one of those things where, you know, people are doing great and then it just goes away. And so, um, so I bought it knew I could get my money back out of it if, if, if and when it failed, because I was pretty sure it would, and I started the plan. I read the book, and I will say I started when the original book was the only book out there. Um, I think it was 2013, so I've been on plan eight. I'm going on my ninth year, which is crazy, and I love it. But anyway, so I bought the book, and I started reading it. And years ago, when my son was real little, I was actually going to school to become a certified nutritional consultant. And I realized with choosing to homeschool and the lifestyle we wanted, I didn't really have time to um, pursue my own education and give everything I wanted to to my son. And then when our daughter came along. So I quit going to school at that time. And But I had done enough schooling that when I was reading this book, I was just blown away. It was like putting all the little puzzle pieces together for me and I was thrilled. So I thought, you know, they got something going on here, something I had never seen before. And I love this, this um, fuel separation and the idea of fuel pairing for different reasons. And um, I love that it had this real heart of nutrition. I mean, that just really spoke to me in the season of life I was in and especially coming off of Weight Watchers where yes they would teach about nutritious eating in the weekly uh, meetings but nobody asked you how you ate nobody really cared they would just kind of teach you but then you were on your own to use up those points I was 22 points that was the number of points I used to get and um and for me, I would try to cram in the foods I love the most into those 22 points, even if that meant starving all day so I could get those points at night. And I will just tell you as a slight pause here too, another issue for me with Weight Watchers was if I blew my 22 points, say at noon, say something happened and I just went off plan or whatever, whatever happened, um, if I blew it at noon, then I knew my points wouldn't renew till the next day. And so that meant I would do very unhealthy things and just indulge the rest of the day because I knew the next day I couldn't, I'd be back on with the points. And um, one of the things that hugely spoke to me about THM was this three hour do over. You know, I if I had something go awry or I chose an off plan thing or whatever the um, issue was, I had the opportunity in three hours to start again. And I loved that because it meant no more crashing and burning for the rest of the day. It meant um, renewal each day. Each day, each meal had a new opportunity to be the right thing. And I really needed that. And so anyway, so I jumped on plan and I started in August. And I remember that because my birthday's in October and I was losing weight. And I even have notes in my original book that say things like, okay, I lost a few pounds, but I'm still skeptical. I don't know if this is really gonna work. I mean, could be inflammation. You know, I had all these ideas in my head as to why it was maybe, maybe not working, even though the scale was showing me it was. And so, um, so anyway, so my birthday came and I had already planned. My birthday's a big deal. I love to celebrate it. Um, and especially when my parents were alive, it was my mom always made a big, big deal of it. And so, I had thought I'm going to go off plan though on my birthday. That's what I'm going to do is I want to enjoy whatever I want to enjoy. Well, my birthday came and I realized I love the food so much that I really wanted on plan food for my birthday, which I don't think that's ever happened in my whole life where I wanted to stick to the way I was trying to eat for health and weight and all those things. And I wanted to do it on my birthday too. And I even remember my breakfast that day was a cup of hot cocoa and I had, um, that cheesecake berry crunch for my birthday breakfast. And I remember sitting there eating it thinking, I really don't want anything more than this. This was amazing. And um, 
And I thought, boy, if a if an eating plan can satisfy me on my birthday, then it should work pretty well for the other 300 and you know 64 days of the year. And so it ended up that in three months I lost the 13 pounds I had taken three months to regain when I quit Weight Watchers after trying to lose it for a whole year. And I was shocked. I was shocked that I did it in three months eating foods that I loved. I even remember um, the first time I had a fat stripping frappa, which if you haven't had it, I highly recommend. Um, it, it, I had that for my first time and I remember sipping on it and I was thinking, if I had had this on Weight Watchers, Weight Watchers would have been so much more doable because I wouldn't have had to starve myself to get to things I enjoyed when I could actually have something I enjoyed that would have been already fitting well into points. And um, it just, each day I had a new revelation. And also the other thing I loved was I was eating so many more vegetables. I was like lacking in that area, but I understood the importance of it through reading, through my nutritional consulting class, but also through reading the book. I mean, they taught me so much. And so I just ended up falling in love with it. But now here's the kicker. So I got down to my goal weight again on Trim Healthy Mama, exact same goal weight as I was on Weight Watchers, but I was a full clothing size smaller on Trim Healthy Mama, which blew my mind. I couldn't believe it because I just wanted to reach that goal number. And that's something that's really taught me, especially as a coach. One of the things I do when I'm coaching ladies is I tell them, please find, um, a, a clothing item that you feel uncomfortable in. It's, a, it's too tight to wear it in public because the scale doesn't work the same on THM. I am not a scale user at all right now. I haven't been for quite a while. And um, it's my personal preference because I can tell by my clothing how things are going. And I really do encourage a lot of my clients. Not that I'm against the scale. It's just if it's a source of frustration, control, disappointment, emotional issues, then I like to kind of set it aside for a season and work on the clothing thing. And then after learning that you actually lean out on THM because of that protein centered meal plan idea, you aren't losing the muscle mass. You're maintaining your muscle mass and burning more calories every day. And then you're losing more of just the fat. And so you're thinner, you're more slender. And that was just such a revelation to me that that could happen. So anyways, so with all of that said, as, as I went through all those years of other plans, I am so thankful for Trim Healthy Mama. Um, one of the other things I thought was I can help my daughter not have these lifelong issues that I've had because I really wanted to break that curse in her life. I didn't want her to feel the same frustrations with weight that I did. And my daughter got on plan and she saw so many benefits for her and she loves it. Now she's in her early twenties, so she does what she wants also, but she always knows how to work the plan and how to get back on plan when she wants it, wants to be there. And I just love that because she has tools in her toolbox that I never had growing up. And I'm very thankful I could give those to her. Okay, so that's where we're at. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please ask me any questions that you might have about my personal THM journey. I'll also link to, um, I was featured in the THM e-zine and I'll link to that too if I can find it. I'm pretty sure I can. Um, and uh, I'll put that there because you can read my little bio in there that gives a little information, but this is kind of an extended version of what I um, have experienced with THM, but I just have to say I'm so very thankful for it. It is truly a plan I will stay on for my lifetime. I have no intention of ever going off. I may have off-plan moments, but I always jump back on. It is the center of how we do our nutrition in our home. My husband is on plan with me, um, and I love it. I mean, I don't know what else to say other than it's just been life-changing for us in more, in more ways than I anticipated because I became a volunteer admin with them. And then that kind of grew into also becoming a coach. And I love doing all of those things. I sincerely love helping people on plan and encouraging them and being their accountability partner and being their cheerleader. That's like my favorite thing is cheering women on to, you know, doing, achieving their goals and, and you know, feeling like they're accomplishing what they want to accomplish. I just, I adore that part of being a coach and being an admin, both. It's it's such a huge blessing. But yes, my family, we will always be THMs. This is the last diet plan I will ever try in my life. Um, I am no longer looking for that holy grail. Um, 
I've, I've already got it. And now my journey will just continue to evolve and change as I grow older and my body changes. But thankfully, um, there's other women going through it too. And so I get to learn from them and make the adjustments necessary. But at least I always know at the core, I'm nourishing myself well. And I just, I love that. That's probably one of the things I love most about THM is the healing aspect of it. All right, my friends, this is it for this video. If you have questions or if you have ideas for other videos, please be sure to leave me a comment below. And if you watched it this far, please give me a thumbs up <laughs> and give me a, um, a subscribe so you watch when my next video comes out. Currently, I'm trying to release those every Monday. That's the goal. All right, have a blessed day. Thank you for coming along. Bye.